Hello and welcome to another Popper video. Today we're going to be playing Alter Tron one more time. Come on, it Combo Tron or Tronbo, as I like to call it originally. So this deck relies on the card Ashnod's Alter, which says sacrifice a creature and add two mana. And then we're playing Mirror Retriever, which says when it dies, return another target artifact card from your graveyard to your hand. So that means that if you have a Mirror Retriever in play and in your graveyard, you can sacrifice the Mirror Retriever with Ashnod's Altar for an infinite loop, since the Mirror Retriever itself costs 2 mana and Ashnod's Altar makes 2 mana. Now, you start to make mana when you have a Golem Foundry in play, which says, cast an artifact spell, you may put a charge counter on Golem Foundry, remove 3 charge counters, and create a 3-3 three, three artifact creature token. So if you have 1 Golem Foundry in play, and we're doing the loop, that means for every 3 loops, you get 1 golem which means for every three loops you get plus two colorless mana this is kind of nice with uh energy refractor because energy refractor can filter those two colorless mana into one mana of any color so technically if you're super fast on magic online or you're in paper you can make infinite mana of any colors once you have energy refractor in play but on magic online things uh are pretty slow so what we want to do here is we have four golem foundries in the list so that now when we have two Golem Founders in play, for every three loops, we're actually making four mana. Three in play would be six mana, four in play would be eight mana. That means that if we need to do a Munitions Kill or something, uh, it's much faster when we have more. And also, more Golem Founders in play ends up making your pressure on the board much greater. So it makes your opponent have to react to more than one thing. We're not just a combo deck, we're also an aggro deck. And that is uh, pretty good for winning the game and you know winning from multiple angles so the combo win here if you're on paper is match makeshift munitions so essentially you do infinite loops make infinite golems and shoot them for infinite times with your infinite mana with makeshift munitions so you just win in one turn that's generally not doable on magic online because you actually need 60 golems in order to accomplish that well you need 60 mana so because you need 20 mana from golems, which would be 10 golems, and then you need 20 artifacts to sacrifice, which would be 20 golems, so that means that you need to do 60 full uh, loops to get the 30 golems. Yes, I think that's correct. So the mana base here, I've been toying with having 18 lands, but I think that I end up having to make too many concessions in the deck. Um, I was trying 18 lands with 3 Faithless Looting, trimming on the bargains and stuff, and playing Mystical Teachings. But I think I run out of stuff to do, which I don't like very much. So over here, I'm going to go back to a, an, a previous list and see if that one land is going to increase my mulligan rate so much that it's not worth it. But I really like having four Golem Foundries. I want to have as much draw power as possible. So with four Disputes and two Bargains, we, actually, we have our six draw twos here. And then Faithless Looting itself is, is sort of a draw too once we have lands in hand that we don't want anymore. So since you can flash it back, it's more like a draw four. So we have 10, 11, 12 draw twos as opposed to over here we've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's a little bit more draw power and then we're a little bit stronger in the early game. Although the early game is stronger here. It's, a, you know, we have to go back and forth on everything. Um... As far as everything else goes, over here in the sideboard, we're playing three Nile Spell Bomb to bring in against graveyard decks, two more Weather the Storms, and three Fangin Marauders specifically for burn. Uh, this makes the burn match a very good post board, so we're going to rely on that. We're bringing in one Stream of Thought for decks that have Weather the Storm in them that we can't beat through damage. This actually also takes 60 mana, but it's a little bit more doable, I think, on Magic Online than making uh, all the golems and then shooting the makeshift munitions. And we can't actually accomplish the makeshift munitions kill against a, a Weather the Storm deck anyway, because they can weather the storm in response. And then I'm playing three Kvar Clan Shaman to clear the board versus Load of the Ground decks. Hopefully it works out versus Walls, but it has not been super good in the past, honestly. But it's pretty good versus Elves. And then uh, one Gorilla Shaman here. It's kind of a weird pick, but we're not playing teachings in this list specifically so ancient grudge would be better if you had teachings but gorilla shaman can uh, clean up multiple relics on the board and then allow us to combo off so that's my plan i think against a dust to dust deck is to bring in the gorilla shaman 
and then uh, get rid of their relics. I found it very frustrating to play against a relic deck, so we're going to hedge against that a little bit. And then two scatter shots here as uh, additional cleanups. So that is the deck. If you have any questions, let me know. I have a sideboard guide written for this kind of deck in the Patreon. And I did do also a full like intro to combo tron video that you can find on my channel and i'll link it in a card and uh check out the patreon patreon.com slash calicais like and subscribe we'll see you in the matches round one here versus Carden, 33 we're gonna be on the play which is awesome and we're looking for multiple lands we don't have a second land but we have a garado um i think i'm gonna keep it and uh we're gonna take this kind of a risk this is something that we need to figure out, whether or not this risk is acceptable or not. But the Grotto gives us a scry, so it's like an additional draw, which I would generally keep a hand like this on the on the draw, I think. Let's see. Okie dokie, let's take off this upkeep stop for now. We're going to play out the Crystal Grotto and see what we see. If we see a land, we can play the map. No land, scary. Okay, so this 17 lands is biting us immediately play out the chromatic star so that we can sacrifice it and uh, draw a card set walls again frustrating now it might be uh this might be elves we find a land so here we can play the refractor hoping for a third land and then if we find the third land all right so i was gonna say if we find the third land we could potentially deadly dispute it's just walls so we're just dead Man, we just, I feel like I keep getting super unlucky in facing these decks. <sighs> okay, um, play map, get power plant. All right, so what are we going to do on, on our turn? Pretty much nothing. They play lead the stampede. We can kill the Quirion Ranger with the Wellspring and the makeshift munitions. We find two battlements and a caretaker. So they'll probably play out battlement. And then play another battlement. Play Caretaker. So now they have three mana. No, two mana. Play Battlement. So they have Battlement and one Unknown in hand. Okay, they have Forest Battlement in hand. They play another Battlement. Okay. Now what's next? Forest, one Unknown. So they have one, two colorless mana. So I can play out the Wellspring. Um, trying to think if, like, what's the best way to kill things here. I think I'm just going to play the munitions. So the munitions can come into play, and then I can shoot the Korean Ranger at minimum with the Wellspring. <laughs> Alright, so what's next? I guess I play out Map and Bobble, and then we're going to pass. I want to keep artifacts in play to kill an Axe Pain Guardian. I guess having the makeshift munitions in play is alright. Oh, I forgot that I can... Alright, so next turn we can um, Frantic Salvage back the Star and the Wellspring. Okay, they have a Tuk Tuk. Sure. So they still have Forest in hand. They play the Forest. Nothing else. Okay. I feel like I want to kill the Tuk Tuk, but... Who knows? We have Mirror Retriever. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is map. Getting a tower. Play the tower. Play Mirror Retriever. Shoot this. With the Retriever. Retriever gets back. Wellspring. Play the Wellspring. Shoot the Tuk Tuk again. With the Wellspring. Play Chromatic Star. Okay, this is going all right. Kill the Tuk Tuk. Just want to keep them off of their fast uh, chains with the infinite mana and stuff. I um, think we're passing. They have one card in hand. Okay, so I think I need to take out at least the Jespera to take them off of double blue. They get in for one. Find a Wellspring. Okay, perfect. Draw. Shoot this. 
All right. Plate, power plant. Trying to salvage all of my things I can shoot them. Doot, 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 doot. Okay. Put the mirror tree around the bottom. And then let's just go like this. Somehow we're we're holding our own because our opponent has drawn terribly. Sorry, opponent. Okay, kill that. Rag star. Lay out the star. Let's bobble the salvage. And then that lets us play the wellspring into the star. And then uh, from there, we can be set up to take out their caretaker on the next turn. And they don't have the haste for the tuk tuk. They don't have colored sources. They're just sitting on green right now. <clears throat> we have to take them off of... Okay, play another forest. Blue, not good. They're going to play a mole drifter. Mnemonic wall gets back lead the stampede. Okay, bad news bears. We are tapped out here. So Aquarian Ranger could give them extra mana. What do they draw? They draw Drift, Queerian Ranger, Shield Wall, Sentinel. So they can play the Queerian Ranger, and then they can Shield Wall Sentinel for the Axe Bane. And they can't Drift this turn. We can kill the Axe Bane on our turn. <clears throat> they really want to Drift for Reap in the Graves or Double Drift here. But uh, we'll be able to kill at least the, um, the Queerian Ranger, so they won't be able to do that. I think what I want to do is Deadly Dispute one of the Wellsprings to get a bunch of cards and potentially more artifacts in play. Right now they are thinking about what to fetch with their Shield Wall Sentinel. They're just going to get another Shield Wall Sentinel. Okay. <clears throat> and then they're chaining, adding to the board. I guess this... No, they can't attack. They're one threes, but they can't attack. They get another Drift of Phantasms. Uh, all right. So that makes me want to kill this caretaker. All right, so we have a bunch of mana. We can do stuff now. Land. And deadly dispute those munitions. Because I'm looking for golem foundries. So if golem foundries in play, I can actually kill a lot more things. Deadly dispute the wellspring. I need to take out... All right, there's a golem foundry. So I'm going to kill that. Another mirror retriever. Like chromatic star, always yes, always yield, and then we're going to shoot the caretaker one more time with the star, find a bobble, shoot it with the treasure token, and we pass. We're gonna get rid of this, this, and this, and I guess the weather the storm. So next turn we have a tower, we have double retriever, so we can. If something goes haywire here, they right now they just have a Quarian Ranger in hand, so they can't attack us. If we find our altar, okay, it's the GGs. Perfect. Retriever. Play altar. Okay, so we just sacrifice the retriever. Somehow we win. Okay, get back retriever. Oh, it. I thought I had two in the yard, but I don't. That's okay. Play Wellspring. Draw some cards. Sacrifice the Retriever for a Retriever. Easy peasy. So now for looping, what I'm doing is uh, setting up the, the windows here. Let's see. I'm going to set like, the triggers and stuff really close to each other. Alright, there we go. We're at 19 minutes. And they have scooped to the combo. Sweet. Thank you. So that was kind of nice. Let's just put this back. You know what's something interesting I actually found out? No, that didn't work. When you have the um, graveyard popped out, the hotkey is spacebar to go back and forth. I found that on accident. All right, sideboarding. All the Krarks, scatter shots. We're gonna cut the weather the storms. I need to make some more cuts though. Well, makeshift munitions did all right there, but it's not the greatest card, but it did do stuff. I think the Frantic Salvage is not that great, but that also worked for us. Maybe the Bobbles are the thing that's not the greatest. Because they're not really doing... But they do cantrip. This is such hard, such a hard position to be sideboarding in. Maybe the game is not going to go very long, so we cut the Faithless Lootings. Need to cut, make two cuts. Three cuts. Wellspring's very good. 
Energy Refractor is good, but doesn't sacrifice to the Krark. Alright, that's what I'm going to do here. We'll see how that goes. Basically, my plan is to try to Krark Clan Shaman them to death if I possibly can. Set up. We can set up an Altar Loop for Infinite Golems and then try to Krark them out. Okay, we have Retriever, Krark Clan Shaman, Wellspring, Altar. Seems pretty awesome. I'm going to keep it. Although we are on the draw. Probably have to lead on a Tron land in case we top deck the Tron mana. S. If we find Golem Foundry, we have a turn 4 maybe? I think so. No, we don't. No, we don't have turn 4. No, yet. I don't know. So, if we find Golem Foundry right now. Okay, we're going to go play this in case we see something good. Mirror Retriever is not right now what we want. Play out the Wellspring. It's tough. Okay, they have nothing. Weird. Scattershot. Okay, that's pretty sweet. So, what do we do? I think I play the Retriever. Because if I draw a bunch of cards right now, I don't really get anything out of it. Okay, I pass the turn. Now, our opponent is untapping. Looks like they just still didn't draw lands. So they're kind of hosed. Sorry, opponent. I'm going to get in for one. No, they're not. Okay, they decline. They must have a really awesome hand of all two drops. Gorilla Shaman. Yep, that's the thing. Um, Black. Gorilla Shaman can eat my treasure tokens. And a Deadly Dispute here. We'll draw another Wellspring. Gorilla Shaman. So I think I just play out the Shaman here. And then I'll discard another one. Okay, sorry. Wasn't commenting. So they still have drawn no lands. We're just getting super duper lucky. They discard a shield ball sentinel. We find a tower. Uh, let's go ahead and lay out the wellspring. And we draw polluted mire. So play a tower. Play out uh, energy refractor. Trying to draw into Tron lands. Crop rotation. Okay, perfect. So now I think it's uh, good. We're well set up at this point. We can kill their Jaspera Sentinel. They have an overgrown battlement. So I'm going to tap for this for one. No. I think we can um, scattershot them here. Let's see. Tap for green. Play Polluted Mire. No, do I want to play... The... So I can sacrifice this. Crop here, and then map is mana neutral. Okay, crop this. Get... Mine, play map. Oh, what am I thinking? What am I talking about? So, sacrifice the map, grab a tower, play the tower. We actually have infinite storm here with the altar. Altar, the retriever, get back the wellspring. Sorry, okay. Play the, play the mirror retriever, alter the retriever. Get back the mirror retriever. So we just need to make six storm. Or five. Let's just do a couple more. Sorry, my clicking ability is kind of wonky right now. But infinite storm here means that we have infinite scatter shot. So we don't actually have to waste the cart clan shaman at the moment. I want to do a little bit of an overkill on these creatures. Sacrifice. Get back mirror retriever. Okay. Red. Scatter shots. So we're gonna go same target and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and then two more over there. So that's super duper dead. No colored sources now and no walls in play. I'm gonna play out a mirror retriever because then I'll have more attackers. I can close the game at some point. <laughs> Attack. Now, if we draw into the golem foundry, it's game over. <clears throat> Maybe not. We still have the Kark Clan Shaman to wipe with. We can get back the Mirror Retriever. We can sacrifice the Wellsprings. So, I think if they play a t four, an 04, play a D Glamour. Uh, okay. I guess they were just keeping base on that. We could have sacrificed, but I don't think that would have been worth it. <clears throat> okay, play Wellspring. Draw some cards. Play Refractor. Ugh. 
I tapped the wrong mana. Play Refractor. Play Wellspring. I guess it didn't matter. Cycle. Okay, I'm gonna go Grotto, hold. Oops, bottom. I meant to not respond to that and scry first. Darn. Uh, so we don't have any more grottos in play. Let's go green. Crop this grotto for a tower. We're gonna get a bunch and bunch of mana in play. Let's see. Don't really care about getting the retriever back right now. <clears throat> Attack for one. One, two, three, four. So we can we can wipe an, a four drop. An O4, I mean. They play an overgrown battlement. Okay. We're just gonna attack for two and get in for one. Play a chromatic star. I'm gonna sacrifice it for black in case I draw a deadly dispute. Do we draw makeshift munitions? Okay, that's pretty good. So we can um, munitions with the retriever to kill this a couple of times because every every loop with the retriever is cost three mana. So we just go kill shoot this for one, leave it floating two. Get back retriever. Always yield. Play retriever. Shoot this. I feel so bad that I complain so much and then I just all of a sudden like. My wall's opponent has the worst possible draw. Shoot this again with the retriever. Put this over here now. And then we're going to retrieve her again. And then we're going to shoot it again. So your wall is super dead. Get back retriever. Play the retriever. And pass. <clears throat> so now we can uh, just keep doing that. Caretaker. Sure. Plays a glamour on my munitions. Okay, so that's fine. I'm gonna cast this bobble and get back the deadly dispute. I like to put the deadly disputes back in the deck. We draw a swamp. Okay. I'm going to attack with everything. And now I think it's getting close to the time where I want to sacrifice my creatures and stuff to draw a bunch of cards. Alright. We still are going to have the Car Clan Shaman anyway, so I'm going to hold control, sacrifice this, get back the Retriever, control, sacrifice this, sacrifice this, and this one. Okay, we found the loop. All right, Foundry, Altar, uh, Retriever, sacrifice the Retriever, and then just put this over in a more convenient location, grab the other Retriever. And that's GG. All right, sweet. I did not expect that to go that way, but we are one and zero. So let's go to the next round. Round two, we're versus All Eyes on Me, who usually plays Mono Blue or Tron. And uh, that's going to be pretty scary for us. We do have the Golem Foundry, so I'm going to keep it. That's very good against Mono Blue if we can get it out early, and we are on the play. It's also going to be okay versus Tron, because we can pressure them while, attempt while trying to find our combo. But I'm not sure how this is going to go. <clears throat> Land. We're going to play out the bobble and pass. And uh, do yield until next end step. Looks like they're on Tron. So we're just going to crack this bobble for a card draw. Looking for Tron pieces. Didn't find one. So we'll play this Icar Wellspring. If we, yeah, we draw an untapped land, which is perfect. We need to get the Golem Foundry in play ASAP. So this depends on... If they have Condescend, it's bad. But if they don't, they're on a Prohibit, it's good. Okay, Golem Foundry resolves. They cast an Impulse. Now we want the Altar to resolve. Three mana. Another Foundry. I'm trying to think right here. I want to draw a card. Let's play Bobble. I'm going to try to add to the board. Here I'm trying to draw a card. Get back to Bobble. Let's see if they crop. They don't crop. Okay, we have the combo now. Play Mirror Retriever. They might prohibit this. Play Meyer and pass. Okay, it comes down to this, basically. It's like, okay, they're going to crop for Tron. And we have to be worried... What? Okay, so they have another Tron piece in hand. We have to be a little bit worried about them having um, crop for Bog. Five mana, plays a Mole Drifter. They don't have crop for Bog up right now. Okay, we go... Tap, tap, tap. 
play alter. Always yield to that. We're going to astronauts alter the mirror retriever. Get back this. Play mirror retriever. Now we have a turn five combo. And here we don't have to do anything with the clicking around, which is nice. So now we're going to make a mana, sacrifice this, play Golem Foundry, Mirror Retriever. Always yes on that one. Okay, now we're making mana quite quickly. Now we're pressuring them into having fogs, which they very well could have. So what we're going to do here is we're looping, and now I'm going to um, make some mana. Cast my energy refractor. See if that draws us a card and we win. No. So let's play land, play bobble. Alter the retriever. Play the retriever. I want to make a bunch of uh, golems so I'm threatening like lethal. So that they have to fog. And then I'm going to try to draw a bunch of cards. But I want to do this while it's fast. Like I don't want to be doing uh, having to click. All right, so we're going to go to, if I have 15 on each of them, that is 30 power. That should be enough. I guess we just go to 18, maybe. So right now we're at 15. 18 would be 6 times 3. 24? No. 12 times 3, actually. 36 power. I'm just I'm just talking. All right, um, let's bobble back nothing. Okay, we find another mirror retriever. So we can sacrifice the retriever for the bobble. Play the bobble. I'm just going to put one retriever back in the deck. Find another altar, so that doesn't help us very much. And I guess we just pass here. Now they're going to have to fog every turn. And play an island. Compulsive research themselves, looking for a fog. And then if we get to the point where they fog and we have uh, makeshift munitions, we get to shoot them to death. Energy Refractor is pretty scary. Golem Foundry... I mean, <coughs> sorry. I think that the uh, Gorilla Shaman is probably pretty good against them. So this is what I'm talking about. Like, we have this combo. It's going to pressure from multiple angles, but we're still looking for that makeshift munitions, or otherwise we can't win. And then actually post-board, we have to be playing to the uh, stream of thought, unfortunately. We're going to go and founder them a, a bunch. Here's 36 power. So they're like, uh, fog. <laughs> Tech with everything. They still have, they could play fog and crop for bog here. Woohoo! They didn't have the fog. <laughs> All right. Too fast. Too furious. Okay, Stream of Thought and Gorilla Shaman can come in. I think the Nile Spell Bombs are also good. Potentially. We definitely don't want the weather the storms. I don't care about the makeshift munitions, I don't think. So now it comes down to what else can I cut? We could potentially cut the crop rotation, but then we're slow against them. Although we didn't need it there. I don't want to be so slow that I get killed. But we're just probably going to have to gamble on not playing the crop rotation. It's a slower game. Like, we don't have to have turn 3 Tron, but we would prefer it. So we're going to hope to draw. We're going to try and see if... We can keep a hand where we have Expedition Map and Fast Drawn and keep stuff. Pressure, pressure, pressure. That was sweet. And it didn't even take that much time for the uh, actual loop to occur. Okay, we're on the draw. We have Nile Spellbomb, Expedition Map. I think I'm keeping. We go Land Map, turn two, Land, Nile Spellbomb. Spellbomb's not going to matter that much. If we draw another Tron land off the top, though, we're all good. They have the Tron, they have the Refractor, it's pretty good. Power Plant, we also have Tron, sweet. Grab of Tower. They're playing uh, Moldrifter here. Okay, I was kind of afraid of a Crusher, actually. Uh, I'm going to play out Tower, play Refractor. <clears throat> I'm going to play Spellbomb, Expedition Map, Dispute the Map. So deadly dispute this expedition map here. Chromatic star map. So I think I can pass. Everyone's got Tron and Refractors. We got infinite colored mana, infinite colorless mana. Everyone's doing great here. All right.
right. <clears throat> now they have 10 mana. Man, if I can take out the energy refractor here, they'll be so screwed. All right. They are going to attack. <clears throat> play this bobble. Another bobble. Another, play a chromatic star. Kind of a weird pause for them. I'm not really sure why they're pausing here with the chromatic star on the stack. Maybe they also have a, um, what's its face, a gorilla shaman that they're trying to wear, hit me with. I'm going to cycle the polluted mire, find another spell bomb. Sure. Play the spell bomb, play the expedition map. It's going to stop their looping, but it doesn't actually stop them from winning, really. Okay, we'll pass the turn. They could weather the storm here and go up to 45 or 48. I'm going to impulse. Our Nile spell bombs just kind of have to sit around on the battlefield. I think end step on their turn, I'm going to... Well, they're going to teachings here. Another impulse. Okay. So it's a strange way to tap as well. Maybe they're just getting used to the energy refractor. All right. So they have uh, got some good card selection right there. Crop rotation for bog. Maybe just for another tower, and then they can play another tower. They can play the, another power plant. Okay. I think I think that's okay. Well, since they don't have mana right now, I'm gonna dead, I'm gonna get back this dispute into the deck. We find it. <clears throat> we find our own dispute. So, I think I'll just dispute now. They can't really respond. They don't have color sources to do it. We find a golem foundry, and that's pretty good. They'll have to counter the golem foundry. Six mana. Five mana. Play mnemonic wall. All right. Spell bomb. We'll just take out their uh, spells and make this not very good. The mnemonic wall is going to get back nothing. They're going to crop for bog. Sure. So do I care if they have crop rotation in hand? I probably care. So let's just spell bomb them again. If they have flicker in hand, it's quite bad for us. But what are we going to do? Play tower. Play out the golem foundry. Play Mirror Retriever, or let's just play Chromatic Star, I guess. We're going to sacrifice the map. I'm going to grab um, a Grotto so I can scry next turn. Let's try and get back the Bobble. That that worked. We're going to play the Wellspring. I mean, they didn't have a counter before. Let's sacrifice this for Black and see if we can draw into the Altar or a Deadly Dispute. Find a Reckoner's Bargain, so let's bargain the Wellspring. Another Golem Founder is good but not exactly what we wanted. So I'm going to play a star here. Now we have one threat, and I'm going to crack it for red in case I draw a looting. Find a spell bomb. So I'll play out that spell bomb. And that's my turn. They have another refractor. Okay. Plays an impulse. We're almost out of spell bombs. I mean, that's, this is our last spell bomb in play. They have another Mold Drifter. They only have two mana available, so only one colored source. And if we find, okay, another colored source. Four mana for the opponent, or four cards in hand with two mana. So they can just cast like a Dispel or something. I really want to find a Gorilla Shaman. Find a Looting. So let's Grotto. Definitely not that. Bottom, red, tap. So we're going to loot. Get rid of land, land. Play. I guess we just play the foundry. Maybe we should just loot first. Loot. Untap. Or get rid of these lands. Play the golem foundry. Oh, I forgot to make a golem, but it doesn't matter because they had a blocker. Okay, play refractor. Always yes. And then we're going to draw a card. A frantic salvage is pretty awesome. So. We want to kind of like get into a position to use that salvage. We have the stream of thought. Okay. Now next, this turn we're going to make two attackers and swing out. We have an impulse. Maybe they're looking for the bog now. Let's see if they like tap low just to try to pressure me. I don't know if they, these people, this guy's playing, uh, what's his face? 
dinner over horror or anything. If they have the horror, they could take out my power plant plus one of the mines or something. Power plant plus tower and take me back on mana a lot. They play an island. Three mana. They teachings. They're going to get teachings. Okay. Gets in. We are going to make some golems. We're going to attack. We have a gorilla shaman. This is it. <laughs> attack with everything. All right, we're going to bog or uh, spell bomb you. I'm trying to tax them a little bit. They're probably going to cast the teachings here, which is okay. They don't cast the teachings. They do cast. Okay, I'm going to cast Gorilla Shaman. So for five mana, I can kill an energy refractor. I know they have teachings in hand. Looks like they're going to teachings for a counter spell, and then I get to kill them with Stream of Thought. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Prohibit. Alright, good games. Ashnod's Altar. Play the Retriever. Okay, sacrifice the Retriever for Retriever. Sacrifice the Retriever for... I don't think it matters. Spell Bomb, I guess? Play the Retriever. And then we'll get back the Retriever. Okay, so we need... They're at 34. So let's try to do some math while I'm looping. Do 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 do. Okay. For every four cards, it's six mana because we have to filter with energy refractor. So we have four mana in play. Plus we have four mana from the two golems. And we have two mana from the retriever. So that's ten mana available. But we have to figure out how much we need. So the first Four cards cost one blue, which is basically two mana from the energy refractor. And then the next cards, 30 cards divided by four. So how many, how many is that? Four goes into 25 times, and then it goes up to 28. Six, seven times, and then it goes to 32. So eight times. So eight times six is 60, 58, plus another two. So we have to make 60 mana. Okay. So 60 mana is 15 on each of these, so I have to go to 45. Okay. I think I figured it out. <clears throat> we may have to loop a, a few additional times, but I think we need 60 mana to accomplish our task. Because we need to shoot them for uh, with stream of thought and replicate it. And replicate it uh, 4 or 5. Eight times. Replicate it eight times. So I have to go to 45 here. All right. So to save some time, I'm just going to stop talking. And hopefully this uh, looping will get cut. And our opponent will uh, get to get decked out. So right now I'm at 20. So I have to do almost one and a half times this, uh, the amount of this. But we have so much time on clock, it's going to be totally fine. Okay, we've reached 30 on each of these, so that would be 10 golems each, which is 20 mana, so that's 40 mana total that we have. I think we have to make more than, I think I said 60 mana total. So we have to make another 5 golems on each of them, which would put me at, um, that's 1, 5, it's still 45 I think. So I'm looping. This is taking like six minutes, probably. I just realized that I'm frantically clicking. So hopefully the, the hyperspeed clicks are not actually picking up on the video. And then everyone's just watching me and click around in silence. That would be brutal. We're at 44. And I'm going to do an extra loop just in case something weird happens. So 45. Almost there. 46. 46. Okay, here's our last one for 48. Now, the other thing you have to remember is that it takes a lot of time to actually pop out all these golems into play. <clears throat> so we're going to make 7 million golems and just start uh, spamming golems onto the battlefield. Doodle doo. This is going to take like 10 minutes to accomplish this task. 
I don't know if this is like completely doable. But the other card that we were contemplating playing in this slot was Jace's Erasure. And I think that you can see here that Jace's Erasure would have been much worse for me. Because it doesn't actually win the game on the spot. You could also play something like Bitter Reunion. So that when you um, get them to tap out, you get to just like slam the Bitter Reunion and attack. But the thing that I didn't do was uh, do this all pre-combat. So that would not actually have one here either. But I think I have way too much mana. Way too much mana. Maybe not. Almost at 60, right? Just feels like a lot. Doodly do. Doodly do. Okay. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. We're just going to sacrifice all of these creatures for a million billion mana. Now, <laughs> the other thing that would be nice here maybe would be Rolling Thunder because we could just have accomplished this right away. But Rolling Thunder doesn't beat Weather the Storm, so. That's why I'm not playing Rolling Thunder here. 46 mana. Pretty sure it's 60 that we need. We'll find out. 58. I believe 58 is 6 times 8. 60. Dream of Thought. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Pay a million. Blue. Blue. The clicking. Blue. Do to do this 16 times. Hopefully I don't have to use all 32 of this mana because it would be really time sucking. So just to know we started at and there's like no way, no good way to uh win against fogs with this deck online. Jeez, brutal. Just the mousing back and forth is crazy right here. We're clicking, we're clicking, 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 clicking. Blue again. Okay, I made way too much mana. So I miss I miss uh Am I right? Eight? I hope that I'm right. Put it back the Gorilla Shaman, the Bargain, Dispute. Okay. Okay. Zoom, 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 zoom. We're milling them out. Okay, so I, I made one additional copy that I didn't need to make. And I'm going to play this Nile Spellbomb. I'm going to sacrifice. I'm going to go black. And then I'm going to spell bomb them and pass the turn. So now they have no graveyard. <laughs> so that that took like ten minutes. <laughs> All right, let's see what they brought in against us. And we win due to decking. I always love a mill win con. All right, they have. Let's go pop it out. Impulse, crop, there's a bog in here somewhere. No, more terrain mire. So they had bog in hand? Weird. That's unfortunate for them. Breath weapon they left in. Not really the greatest, but I guess they could breath weapon slash breath weapon. They have Weather the Storm, Dawnbringer Cleric. Din Rova Horror would have been really scary. Otherwise, it's nothing crazy. Pretty normal deck. Looks like they're not playing any um, of the looting artifacts. So if I had gotten that... They really had to uh, counter that Gorilla Shaman because they didn't have colors otherwise because of the energy refractor. Wow, we win the game. Let's go to match three. Okay, round three on the draw. We have no colored sources. We potentially have Wellspring into Retriever. It's not that great. I think I'm going to risk it. We'll see what happens. We have turn two Wellspring. We have two draws to get a colored source or a map. <clears throat> so hopefully that works out. We're taking some risky plays here. Energy Refractor or something would allow us to Fatalist Looting a lot. We'll see what they're on. They're on a green deck. It's not great. Let's see if it's Bogles, Elves, whatever. Maybe Walls again. Bogles. So sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. We find a Chromatic Star, so that's nice. Play the star. <clears throat> then we can sacrifice the star for colored source, play the mirror retriever, and then the retriever can block the bogle. And we can get back to star. So we'll have a mirror retriever in the yard and have drawn a card. Uh, they play out a rancor. So we're going to sacrifice for red. Play mine. Play the mirror retriever. If they don't have a way to pump the toughness here, this is a pretty good blocker. <clears throat> I'm fine with trading. 
getting back to star, play the star, or just play the wellspring. We kind of need the uh, mana here. So what are we looking for off the top? We're looking for Tron, uh, so with a tower, and colored sources or whatever. They are declining to attack as expected. We play out a wellspring to draw a card, looking to draw into a land. We decline to find a land. Okay, they make their sprawl bigger. They can't attack again. Tower off the top would be perfect here. Let's see what we get. No attacks again. Golden Foundry. Uh, so if I play Bobble and cycle the Bobble, then I can maybe draw another land. I don't find a land again. So I'm going to discard a Looting. <clears throat> they play Cartouche. Okay. Rancor. So that's six damage. So is it worth me... I guess I'll block... Get back the star, then I can go star red looting. And we're getting super punished here. Red for keeping a risky hand. Oh my god. Okay, looting. Wow. Alright, we're just going to go to game two. So no lands in the top. I don't know. Concede. So how many... <laughs> we're going to discard. So draw a card. There was another land right there. Wow. So... Our third land was 20 cards down. That's pretty unlikely to have happened. So bring in the Fang and Marauder. We're bringing the Stream of Thought. Cutting the Makeshift Munitions. I'm going to cut the Lootings again. So the plan is to try to get infinite life with the Marauders and then attack them. And if we can't attack them, we're going to have to Stream of Thought. Oh no. Uh, I have to make one more cut. Yikes. Um, I think it's going to be the Salvage here. I don't know. Yes. So we're at 61 cards. 61 card special. I'm gonna keep. Because we're taking risks. You know, land star. Pass. <clears throat> they play a sprawl, so no turn one bogle from them. I'm not really sure how to fix the bogles matchup other than having the fast tron. So we're gonna go green. Looking for a land. We find the land. So we get to play map and bobble. Pass. So now we get to map for power plant, play Wellspring. They have a Bogle. They have R and Arlid, which is ginormous. It's going to be huge, enormous. 3-3 three, three right now. We have Tron immediately. So we can map for the uh, Grotto. Play Wellspring. Now we are specifically looking for Fang and Marauder. All right, we could play Astronaut's Altar, or we could play out the Wellspring. I think the Wellspring's better here. Energy Refractor. So let's just draw a card with this. See if we can draw one drop. No. Okay. So now we can play Energy Refractor and Reckoner's Bargain the Wellspring to gain two life go to 22. But we're going to get hit for a ton here. We're just looking for Weather the Storms and Fang and Marauders. I'm trying to fade uh, the Armadillo Cloaks. Okay, it's a 10-10. You got it, boy. Alright, Energy Refractor, find the Marauder, so I can go, shit, hmm, Crop Tower for Tower, Marauder, Chromatic Star, Green, we're just a little bit too slow, play an Expedition map, next turn we can gain, uh, tw like 20 life probably, but we have to hope that they don't have one enchantment here. Okay, 13. So we're probably just dead. That's fine. Just die to Bogles. They've accomplished their goal of killing us dead. Let's go to round four. Round four, here we go. I'm going to keep this. KBZX, that's our opponent. They're on red. I'm going to go land into map, looking for another uh, Tron land. It seems very unlikely that they're on uh, affinity with the turn one Great Furnace here. They're chain lightning on turn one, okay. At least it's not a Swiss beer, right? Am I right? Okay, mine, map. So we have turn three Tron. <clears throat> we can bobble back nothing, and that gives us Mirror Retriever for Bobble for Bobble. They play a Flame Breather. Okay, so we have Infinite Storm here. We're just looking for a uh 
weather the storm. Yikes. I think we just bobble Wellspring Mirror Retriever, Mirror Retriever. Fancy Swift Spear comes into play. So we get hit for four or three. Can't cast the Lava Dart right now, which is nice for me. Because that represents a bunch of extra mana. Tower. Let's go... Hmm. Bobble. Bobble back nothing. Don't really want the map in the deck. Okay, we can cast this Energy Refractor. Sorry. And then uh, Mirror Retriever and Mirror Retriever. So these gives us blockers. So they can kill both the Retrievers and we'll just get them both back. Oh no, we can't get them both back. But if we double block um, and they both die at the same time, then you can get them both back at the same time. So they play a Synthesizer and reveal a Synthesizer, which means that they can either cast that or kill one of my Retrievers with the Bolt then put me to 10, and I'll just get back the Bobble and then get back the Retriever and play the Retriever. Looks like they're just going to cast Synthesizer again. So they have a 3-4 and a 1-3 to put me to 11. Reveal a Bushwhacker, so they're still stuck on lands. And we get to just uh, block for free. Block, block. So that's kind of nice. Uh, we're going to get back Retriever. And get back Retriever. And we have the loop, right? Do I have enough mana? I think so. Golem Foundry. Grotto. Put the tower on the bottom. Play Altar. And then we just go Retriever. Sack the Retriever. Get back the bo Bobble. We'll just pop this out again. Back Bobble. Then always yield. Then Retriever. Now we have to be uh, not dying here somehow, but... So let's make this one column. Get back Retriever. Alright, so I'm gonna draw some cards and see what I see if I can get into a weather of the storm. Okay, sack the retriever, get the retriever. We'll spring again. There's the weather. So now we just win. Since we have the energy refractor in play. Oh no, oh no. I just pressed okay. The wrong moment. That was really close. Okay. That's scary. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter how many tokens we play we want to make. I think I'm gonna go to 30 regardless. Just to uh get that done. Maybe uh 34. I don't know. They have 20 life, so we need seven at attackers to take them from 20 to zero. And we have a couple of turns, especially if we have a huge weather. And we can just make more golems later again, so let's see. Maybe like uh, 26, and then sacrifice the last two, or sacrifice a retriever and a golem. And then I'll have seven left over. But that they can still block, though. We're just going to go to 30. All right, I'm going to pause talking until I get to 30. We're at 2132, and I need to make uh, 13 more loops. So that was six loops in about 30 seconds. I think uh, someone noted that it takes about 5 seconds per loop for me, so that is important to know if you're going to be trying to do this on Magic Online. You have to have good ping and good speed clicking skills, and then you're still at 5 seconds per loop. 27, 28, 29, okay, 30, alright, we'll sac make some golems, sacrifice the golem, sacrifice this, get back Retriever. Play star, play bobble, sacrifice the star for green, cast weather storm, pass. So now we gain 120 life. And we have nine golems that we can make. <clears throat> We're at a 131. Just trying to make uh, things happen as fast as possible. But it was good to dig for the weather storm there. That made, that made it work. If they attack, that's perfect, but they're not attacking. It's fine. Now, if they actually block and kill a golem, we can just sacrifice it and then cast Deadly Dispute or something. Let's get back to Weather Storm and find another Golem Foundry. Another Retriever. Okay, we're just going to attack. I think in the in the uh, use of time scenario, like we want to make as, use as much, have as 
much time left for the rest of the match as possible. We're just going to uh, attack with everything. They're going to bolt that golem. Okay, sacrifice it for mana. Come on. Cal blast that bolt. Go home. <clears throat> okay. Sacrifice for mana. And then sacrifice this one for mana. Black. Deadly Dispute. Sacrifice this. Okay. So we're taking 15 here. Land. Mirror Retriever. Almost yield. Okay. Mirror Retriever. Let's just get one more golem into play. And that'll be good for me. F6. Some of that's greediness. Our opponent knows what's up. Let's go make some golems. Make some more golems. I just like even numbers. We F6 here for time. F6 again. Don't even care about making land drops. We'll just attack. Uh, yeah. No, I'm not going to respond. We win. Alright, so post board they're bringing in relics. We're not going to think the Gorilla Shaman's necessary. Fingen Marauder, Weather the Storm. Usually I'm going to trim to just one loop, and that'll be it. So we want to Fang and Marauder them out, and then look for a moment to make infinite life or infinite golems and attack. We're just going to gain a bunch of life and hope that that wins, basically. Could also bring in the Kar Clan Shaman. Maybe the Gorilla Shaman is worth it to kill the... Uh, maybe just bring in a Gorilla Shaman over a looting. So that I have a scenario for the loop. Does eat their lands. But it's pretty much dead otherwise. The other thing I could do is keep the makeshift munitions in play. Because that'll eat uh that'll basically help clear the board as well. I don't know. I, I, I like this plan specifically. Uh we'll see if we get relicked out. Okay, we have Tron, so I'm just gonna keep it. We have two redraws, and then we also have mirror retriever. They're leading on Swift Spear, so that's a strong play for them. If we can find a colored source, we have Deadly Dispute the Wellspring to dig for the Weather of the Storms. And we're hoping that we can get off the Weather of the Storm on turn 3. Land, Star, hello. So, I'm going to play the Star. They're not very incentivized to shat, uh, smash it. And if they do smash it, we can just get it back with the Mirror Retriever. So, it's not that big of a deal. We just need to get things in play and start uh, digging for our Weather the Storm or a Finger Marauder. They go for a Synthesizer. And it reveals a Voldaren Epicure. So they play a land and play the Epicure. Makes sense. I think it makes sense here to sacrifice this. And then play out the Mirror Retriever as a blocker. There's like no way that they don't attack into it. This gets punished by a relic though. Dang it. <laughs> that was my bad. That was definitely my bad there. Okay. Alright, we will be not blocking, I guess. We could block the epic here. Me. I can't believe I said, oh, this just gets punished by a relic. And then I just, they had the relic the whole time. I, uh, I thought about that punish line after it actually occurred so we take four we got a 12 stink we would be one card deeper in our deck too and they would still but that we, we'd be at nine though because they could have just bolted us in the face they may crack the relic but i doubt it looted mire i'm gonna go for tron wellspring looking for a colored source we find it play the chromatic star black we're in a deadly dispute. Looking specifically for weather the storm. Find it. Cast weather. So we found our one of altar. Obviously not very good here since they have their relic in play. We're going to pass. Looks like next turn we're going to have to play out the polluted mire as a black source. We do go to 24, which is nice. And they have two cards in hand. Okay, so they thought for a minute, and then they sacrificed a blood token to discard this implement. And they're going to relic me, so I'll get rid of my deadly dispute. Maybe just the weather of the storm. 
Am I going to crack the relic now? Cold Delta Rebirth. Fire Blast. I wonder if they're going to Fire Blast me right now. Yes is the answer. No. They're going to play the Synthesizer. Finds an Epicure. Okay. They're going to play the Epicure. And they're definitely going to Fire Blast right now. So we're taking a bunch of damage. Let's see. This is a 4 5 now. 4 through a 19. And then we take 4 5. I'm going to go to 14. Zero cards in hand for the opponent, but they have six damage on the table. I'm going to play a Wellspring. Okay, that's good. Play the Energy Refractor. We have another Weather the Storm. Black. Sorry, opponent. I'm slow because I'm my clicking is going poorly. Okay, we're gonna draw some cards. I think I'll just weather again and pass. And here I'm gonna discard the swamp, um, just because I want to be able to cycle this, and then everything else I can just use. If we find a third retriever, we can go make them crack the relic and then do the loop. Uh, and then, but we'd still have to find the Golden Foundry or a thing in Marauder to gain a million life or whatever. They're going to Koldotha once more. Scary. So they have basically infinite uh, attackers now. So I really need to find a thing in Marauder. Or I will be dead, though. And they're declining to attack. Um, cycle. Find a Grotto. Let's play Refractor. Bobble. Play map. I'm just going to grab another tower. Map for tower. Play the tower. Play the bauble. What's looting? Okay, discard, discard. Play out the expedition map. And I'm going to pass. We want to do an upkeep stop again to uh, grab another tower. Okay, they relic us. We'll just get rid of a land. They have three, six, seven, eight, nine power in play. They sacrifice the relic. So now we have infinite loops with the Ashnod's altar, but we don't have a payoff. We only have one way to draw a card right now, but we can actually bobble, then alter the retriever for the bobbles. We'll draw two cards. So it's not terrible. So next turn we'll see three more cards. Smash the smithereens on the map. Okay, can't do anything about that. Could take a ton of damage. Donk. Go to six. Okay, so the upkeep stop doesn't matter anymore. Play this Wellspring. Draw a card. Deadly Dispute. It's a pretty good pickup. Crop Rotation. Bang and Marauder. Okay. So now we just go green. Play Marauder. Uh, tap this. Green. I'm going to crop. Go yes here. Crop this for tower. Now we can uh, play Ashnaut's Altar and make infinite life. So Mirror Retriever. Sacrifice the Mirror Retriever. Get back the Wellspring. Uh, pop this out. Get back the Wellspring. Play Mirror Retriever. Sacrifice the Retriever. Get back the Retriever. And they scoop to the infinite life. All right. That's how we do it. Let's go to match four, match five. That one bow was lost. Darn. Okay, let's go. Let's get the last one. Round five. We're on the play. Do, 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 do. Tower, map, crop. So this is a pretty good hand. We're going to keep. Play out the grotto. See if we see another land. We can always crop the polluted mire. All right, turn off this upkeep. Of... Stop. Do, 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 do. Okay. Grotto. See what's on top. I'll keep that. Let's go map. And then I think I want to... Alright. Uh, yikes. So it's blue-black, which means we have to play a little tricky here. We're going to play out the refractor first, I think. That gives us our colored sources. Find the golem foundry. Okay, so they're holding up counterspell. We're going to play the Polluted Mire here, and we're going to yield until next end step. And if they go for, if they tap out, we can crop this. Brainstorm. Okay. So they'll probably uh, Thought Scour here, and then we can crop the Polluted Mire for Power Plant. And the next turn we can 
um, get our mine. Looks like they're not going to go for the Thought Scour because they can see that I'm waiting. Nope, they're doing it. Green, crop this, grab the mine. Doesn't matter which is which. Mine. Pass. And now we need to look for an opening to get this Golem Foundry into play because the Golem Foundry is going to win the game for us. We can beat a Spell Pierce on our turn, but we can't beat a Counterspell, obviously. So they Thought Scour themselves, and they're looking to play an Angler here, it looks like. They have Brainstorm, Mental Note, and Thought Scour, so they cannot play a Terror. Uh, plays a Falaji. Okay. I like to call it by the first name, but I guess we just call it Archaeologist. Cool. So they Mill Island, Counterspell, Thought Scour. They'll probably just pick up the Counterspell. They pick up the Counterspell, but it's too late. It's too late, baby. We're going to untap map for the polluted or the power plant. I wanted to say polluted delta, and I don't know why that's the case. Okay, golem foundry, and then just get our wellspring into play. And then it's important to set up your yields there for the always yes, always yield. And we're just going to draw a card, and we're all set. Make sure to put on your no possible play yield all. What do we draw? We draw a Mirror Retriever, which is medium, but it is a blocker, so like we could potentially loot something away. Although, I guess the Mirror Retriever can get back the Expedition map, which is fine. Is a little bit of value. Having a, a blind draw of a land is not great, but not terrible. Ooh, and they mill with their Falaji Archaeologist, they mill a Talarian Terror, and they pick up a Brainstorm. So they have Brainstorm and Counterspell in hand. We're going to go Refractor, draw a card, and the opponent lets that resolve. Okay, so now we draw a Looting, so we can cast a Looting and pitch Looting. Alright, Loots Magoots, we're going to pitch Looting and Retriever, I guess. Try to cast a Retriever, so that might get countered, but uh, not the worst. I mean, having to ha play out that looting there. So they counterspell that. So they're stopping our loop a little bit. But we hit. Little did you know, we have a second one. Hiya! Pass. They're not playing any main deck uh, anti graveyard stuff. So really, we're just going to try to ride this Golem Foundry to victory. If we ever find and get a uh, altar in play, then we can start just smacking them with our million golems. All right. Dave, save. That's the opponent. Davsav. 98898. Eight, eight. I don't know what that means. They brainstorm. Play a terror. Alright, there's no reason to pop out the golem right now, because they could just, like, snuff it or whatever. We want to do it on their, uh, attack phase. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and Deadly Dispute. If they waste a counterspell on the Deadly Dispute, then they're not going to be able to stop the Mirror Tree Reloop. Alright, uh, let's play... Bobble. Looks like we'll be able to hit a big weather the storm here too. Play a bobble. Play a chromatic star. I think I'm going to sacrifice the star for red. And then I'm going to hmm, play the tower. Let's loot. Alright, and then I don't think I need to bobble yet, so let's just go ahead and cast a weather. So what we do here is we just double block the terror with the golems. We could also triple block the terror and then try to get the mirror retriever dead, but I don't think I want to try to get the mirror retriever dead. They cycle of fumes. Uh, well, I mean, so if we had double blocked with the golems, then they could have just cast the fumes. Do I think they have another fumes in hand? I don't think they have another fumes in hand. They're attacking. Let's pop out some golems. We're going to attempt to double block and kill it. So let's see if they have something. It looks like no. I don't know why people attack straight into the golems and then they just have nothing. They gotta have something. Okay, they do. Looks like unexpected fangs. Still doesn't matter. They have to have snuff out as well. They have the snuff. Okay. No problem. That barely matters to us because we just... Uh, have everything anyway. Okay, they have three cards in hand. Uh, let's go star. Star for one. 
And then I can Deadly Dispute the Chromatic Star, draw a bunch of cards, and then maybe uh, get some loot value as well. I do like having uh, this mix of disputes and bargains and loots. I think it's a good mix. The only problem that I think I have with the deck is that potentially 17 lands is too sketchy. Uh, so we could bobble back Retriever. I think I'm just going to uh, bobble back the Deadly Dispute here. Find another Deadly Dispute. Hmm. I guess I can just Deadly Dispute the uh, Energy Refractor since they're not going to be able to take out one of them and it's already gotten me value. So let's Dispute this Refractor. I'm trying to get to a position where I can use the Faithless Looting. If they Counterspell this, then I can Dispute the Retriever for Retriever, play Retriever. Okay. Black. Okay, Deadly Dispute, Retriever. Get back Retriever. And we're going to draw two cards, plus the Retriever. And we can play another Golem Foundry. And then play out another Mirror Retriever. And there are two cards in hand. And we're, we have all the Golems. We have some card draw still. I don't need the Weather of the Storm right now, so I'm just going to pass. And I will be blocking and trying to get back to Mirror Retriever once more. No sense in popping out a Golem right here. I pass. And I don't want to Reckoner's Bargain on their turn right now because if I Reckoner's Bargain, they can blow me out really badly with a Spell Pierce. So let's get back to Retriever. Alright, the Mirror Retriever comes back to our hand. And now the opponent's second main phase with three cards in hand. They'll probably have something like a Deep Analysis here. They crawl from the Cellar, their Talarian Terror. Alright, so we've got Terrors, up, terrors coming in. Uh, let's go red. We're going to go ahead and loot away these lands. And is that both of our lootings? Yes. So now we can just play out lands. Play Mirror Retriever. Let's see if they have another counter spell. I've already played two. Seems unlikely for them to have a third at the moment. So it seems like that gamble paid off. Play out a bobble. And right now I think I'm just going to bobble back the bobble. We could use the bobble. No, it's it's your graveyard. I was thinking maybe we could use the bobble to like do fancy stuff where we like bobble their stuff when they use the crawl from the cellar. But that seems like that's not going to work. Let's get our other tower here with the crop rotation, and then I'm going to sacrifice the mirror retriever to try to draw some cards. Get back another mirror retriever. They'd have to have dispel here, but they don't. We find a makeshift munitions. Okay, so let's play that out first. Play the makeshift munitions. And then we can go Mirror Retriever. And then I guess we just shoot them one. And then cast the Mirror Retriever. Shoot you with Retriever. Get back Retriever. And then we can have one more um, activation open. And then we can block and sacrifice. And then they don't gain life. All right, so now for every three mana that's in play, we can hit them for one. I think we're good. We just have to avoid them getting a counter spell in play or in their hand. They conceded the game. Sweet. So post board, they're going to have um, their own ways to deal with our graveyard, but we're just going to bring in three now spell bombs and cut the crop rotation and the makeshift munitions. And we're leaning specifically on the Golem Foundry plan. So we just want to get Golem Foundry in play early and win the game. And you could see there that they weren't, they didn't either know that it was going to happen or they didn't respect it. And we had the Golem Foundry and won the game. Well, this hand has all of our best spells, but we're going to mulligan because we have no lands. We have one land, two lands. We have Weather the Storm. We have a Golem Foundry. I think I'm going to keep and then bottom the weather. Uh, it's a little bit risky. But I think we're going to be all right. We're going to go Crystal Grotto into Star. And it looks like they are going to hold up a Spell Pierce. So I will just Grotto. Let's see what's on top. A Mine. So I'll top that. And I'm going to pass. I don't really want to walk into a Spell Pierce. So I'm just going to pass again. Play the Mine. Pass. No land? Okay, they brainstorm looking for a land. 
if they brainstorm and have to uh, do a thought scour just to find their third land and tap out, then make it to slam a golem foundry. Looks like that's not the case for us. Play chromatic star. Pass. I'm going to pass again. They play a Nile spell bomb. All right. Let's go ahead and cast a bobble. And I'm going to sacrifice it for no value. Try to draw land. We have our own own spell bomb here. Okay, we're going to pass. Our spell bomb has a lot more value than theirs does, to be honest. Because theirs is not actually drawing them cards. There's not. Theirs graveyard is much more important to them than it is to me. Like, my graveyard doesn't matter as long as I get the golem founders into the battlefield. There's a counter spell mana available. My Nile spell bomb. This seems like something they would probably want to counterspell. They decide not to. Alright. So we just have to pay attention to their graveyard. Right now, an angler costs them 5 mana. Archaeologist. Okay. So, we're likely going to crack the spell bomb now. They have Nile spell bomb, deep analysis, counterspell. They'll probably pick up the counterspell. Let's wait until their end step, actually. So we're going to get rid of their DA. We draw a land. So now we can Deadly Dispute safely. They're going to discard a card. If we draw into a power plant, we just have the... The power... The... What am I talking about? Okay, we're just going to play out the Wellspring here. Since Spell Pierce doesn't wreck us. It's playing a slow, slow, slow game. Draw a card. There's the power plant. So next turn we have a Double Foundry. So on their end step, I want to Deadly Dispute the Wellspring. See if they'll do something about it. They play Nile Spellbomb. Let's Deadly Dispute the Wellspring. This is a juicy counterspell target for sure. They don't know that we drew into the power plant, so they don't know that we're going to have our mana. There's the Spell Pierce. Totally fine. Because now we have everything. Dun 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 dun. Golem Foundry. Golem Foundry. Play a Chromatic Star. Pretty sweet. Now if they tap out for a Spell Pierce, or not a Spell Pierce, uh, a Thought Scar or something, then we can just Deadly Dispute one of the Chromatic Stars and draw more cards. Okay. If they don't do anything, then we just Polluted Mire. Or Cycle the Polluted Mire, I mean. And then on my uh, turn, I can... Potentially Deadly Dispute, but I don't really want to give them the opportunity to use their Counterspell. Just take it real slow. Cycle. And now what? Cycle resolves. So we can play Faithless Looting and pitch this mine. I think we're just going to play a Conjurer's Bobble here. And then I'm going to do what I said where I'm going to Deadly Dispute on their end step. Yeah, that's probably fine. Once they tap off of Counterspell Mana, we just Deadly Dispute. <laughs> Draw a bunch of cards. Okay, they're going to Spell Bomb. It's alright. I guess what I could do is... No, I can't really bobble right now. I'm thinking. So I could Deadly Dispute, they Counterspell. Then I... No, there's nothing for me to do, really. Okay. They untap. <clears throat> So they're trying to get a card in the graveyard. They, they thought scour themselves. Ice tunnel, ice tunnel, thought scour. So they don't have terror mana. If crawl from the cellar is their bottom card on the in the graveyard. Crawl from the cellar. They must have discarded that. Still have eight cards in hand. So we're going to cast a deadly dispute. Try to draw some cards. See if they'll counterspell it. Okay, that's a refractor, which is nice. So it means another golem. Make a golem. They go to clean up and discard a snuff out. We're going to attack. We have uh, enough things to pitch so that the faithless looting is pretty good at the moment. We're going to tap our tower for a refractor and a bobble. And they take three. Play refractor. That's another golem that we can have. <sighs> our opponent's taking a long time to respond to things. So I'm trying to uh, use that silence detection to make it less boring. 
All right, so here we get to draw a card off the energy refractor. I forgot to put the yields on, or I haven't. That's the first one I played this game. So I would I rather have the grotto for a scry? I think so. Play the scry. Mirror retriever. All right, we'll top that. Let's just go for a looting. So with the looting, we're going to discard the two lands. All right. We can play a map, and then we can map for the tower, and play the bauble. So they're using the Rotten Reunion on the Faithless Looting, so I'm just going to bobble it back to force them to crack the Spell Bomb. Don't really need that other bobble. And I would rather them not get some value here. So they're just going to miss on value, which is fine. Okay, the Rotten Reunion. Nothing happens there. We'll play out a bobble. And no response from the opponent. Okay. Play out... Uh, do I want to play the Retriever? I have six. Yeah, I think it's good because it would add to the board with more golems. And we have the Conjurer's Bobble to respond. They're going to counterspell it now. Okay. So... We can get the Ashnod's Altar into play. And then... We can attempt to bobble the bobble. So they use their counter spell that we knew about. What happens if we bobble here? I'm trying to think if they if we can force them to crack the spell bomb and then we would use the frantic salvage to get back all of our cards, but that doesn't actually like losing the frantic salvage in the end is kind of kind of a bummer. And then we can't play around the rotten reunion later. But we do get to get one, two, three, four. We'll still have to sacrifice two creatures. I think I'm going to bobble back the bobble. All right, they allow it. That's fine. So no changes, really. There's a terror. Another terror. So we would maybe get blown out by a spell pierce if they have... Um, if we draw into our mirror retriever, and we sacrifice retriever for retriever, then they spell bomb, and uh, they use the spell bomb. Let's make some... We don't have to make creatures. We're just on the defense now. And we're going to crack for a tower. We have the two faithless looting still. A draw. Another foundry. Alright, definitely playing that out. This means that for every um, artifact that we play, it turns into a golem. Basically, because we have uh, three in play. But we still have to play... For every three artifacts we play, we get three golems. So it's kind of like almost mana positive as well with the uh, Ashnod's Altar in play. Let's crack the, this for a red. See if we can draw into anything. Kind of Wellspring. It's pretty good. So, I mean, I don't feel like I'm going to lose this game. But I'm trying to find a position where I can win the game. Which is kind of two different things. And uh, just trying to finish, finish my league... Wellspring, and we get to draw a card. We've used one Deadly Dispute. There's a looting. So I can loot twice here, I think. No, just once. Hmm. I can actually loot twice. Red. Because I can just sacrifice the golem if I want. I'm going to cast the looting. We're going to discard our two lands. And then our opponent seems like maybe they're going to cast a counter spell. They may also use the spell bomb here. I think that's fine. So they've used two spell bombs so far. I expect that they don't have more than... And then there's another one. I don't think they have four. They're going to counterspell the looting. Okay. So do I want to... I think I want a frantic salvage here. Sacrifice this. Go for white. Frantic salvage. Get back all my stuff. Just because this gives me so many more creatures in play. It's fine, I think, to lose the frantic salvage. We're also not getting got by the Rotten Reunion at this moment. I'll put the Mirror Trigger on the bottom, draw the card, and pass. So we got like four or five artifacts in the in our uh, on our deck now that we can cycle through, which means that we're going to have a ton of golems. And uh, it's going to be very difficult for them to win. Losing the Frantic Salvage is not that big of a deal here. Okay, opponent is going to attack because they have the Crawl from the Cellar. So we're just going to block with everything. We're going to make a bunch more golems. For a moment, I got confused as to how many golems I had, but I have five total. 
So even if they have something like a suffocating fumes, this is going to kill that. And we are way ahead. Way, 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 way ahead. And they scoop the game. Sweet. So we ended up 4-1. Go over here to the collection. Uh, the only problem with this list seems to be the inability to beat Bogles. So we could maybe bring in the, the Kark Clan Shaman against Bogles. But my, my plan has generally been to try to get this Fangren Marauder in play and then uh, win via life gain into uh, infinite attacks. But it can definitely be frustrating. Uh, plus that r and lead was the problem. Like if they didn't have the r and lead, maybe we could have blocked better. But it just had so much power. Uh, if you guys have any ideas on how to uh, beat Bogles better or if I should try to tech for that matchup, let me know. Uh, I think it went pretty well. Another uh, really positive league, and uh, I am pretty happy overall with the main board. The only thing that I'm going to think about changing in this deck specifically would be something in the sideboard. Maybe the Stream of Thought, the Scattershot, pretty much just these cards here are in flux. But I think the Stream of Thought is necessary for the, uh, the Weather the Storm matchup. So it's going to be these cards that I'm in contention with. If you have any uh, ideas, let me know. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.